What's up, YouTube? I'm going to talk about my latest uh, successful mushroom experiment. And the experiment involved liquid culture, liquid culture inoculation on bulk substrate. So what I did was I bought a spore syringe or a liquid culture syringe. And I inoculated a five pound mushroom bag with a, th um, with a syringe. Uh, I filled the bag with a thousand milliliters of water, so one liter, and I added ratios of corn syrup and malt extract that are going to be in the description. Um, once that was fully colonized, which colonized very fast, it colonized faster than liquid culture in a jar. So it colonized very fast faster than 250 milliliters of liquid culture in a small jar, which was, which impressed me. Um, I think that's because when the bag is laying down, all the liquid is flat and there can be liquid culture chunks in each corner of the bag and that, that all spreads, that it just colonizes easier. So what I did next was I got a 500 milliliter syringe or 100 milliliter syringe. I think it's 200 actually or 150 and I filled it up and then I well the this the liquid culture bag I had was dabbed with silicone but when I inoculated it the silicone started leaking so I just added more silicone on top of the leak um, but yeah I put the needle in the silicone port took it out injected put had a bag of bulk substrate sterilized with many silicone ports on this well two in the front two on the back one on each side and I inoculated each one of those ports I immediately sealed the bag after I took it out of the pressure cooker which I think is beneficial for vectors of sterilization because with grain spawn you would have to open the bag dump the grain inside with a spoon or something or just dump it out of the bag that the grain is in into the bulk substrate bag which I think is craziness compared to liquid culture inoculation because with liquid culture inoculation I sealed the bag right after sterilization I inoculated it once it was cool enough and then I waited and it fully colonized perfectly um, and it only cost a hundred uh, about 20 milliliters of liquid culture per pound of substrate. All right. Now, so it fruited nicely as well. Um, what else? Yeah. So I'm just going to, I'm just saying that I think that works. I think liquid culture inoculation is the future of mushroom farming. I think that, well, it's the future of my mushroom farm. <laughs> I think that um, people should start trying it out. People should be doing, try doing it in bulk. Uh, I that's my next experiment. I've only done it in small scales. I haven't done it in bulk yet, so I haven't proven that it has a good bulk contamination rate. But I'm pretty confident that it will because all it is is a needle penetrating the bag, rather than the whole entire top of the bag being opened with a spoon dumping grain onto the bag and like who knows if the grain spawn is like contaminated at all uh like that's the hardest part sometimes because sometimes there's just a tiny bit of contamination and it ruins like 20 bags down the line 20 bulk substrate bags if you're working with bags like i was <laughs> like i was not anymore <laughs> so ideas for bulk substrate inoculation with liquid culture for a large scale uh, my current best idea would be to get like a giant 100 gallon or 50 gallon bucket barrel and get gallons of liquid culture as well <laughs> and then inoculate the barrel with injection ports that have tubes <clears throat> Sterilize the barrel after the substrate with all the supplementation has been added. And then 
yeah, seal the barrel right after it's been sterilized and then inject, hook up all the injection ports to your liquid culture source and inject 20 milligrams of liquid culture per, or 20 milliliters of liquid culture per pound of substrate. Which, yeah. If there's tubes in there, a network of connections that are sterilized along with the substrate, then they should be fine. It shouldn't be a vector for contamination. Uh, the only contamination potentiality there is uh, the injection port being destroyed. <laughs> or, yeah, the, in the injection port not being perfectly sealed. Like, there could be a leak because of previous uses. But once this giant barrel is colonized, I think that uh, it could either be fruited off of directly or it could be, like, cut into slices. And then those slices could be put into a cave and then just on the ground of the cave and or a greenhouse but a cave would be just way better <laughs> or like a greenhouse that is heated and cooled by the 50 degree temperature constant that is below the earth um so that's another topic but once like either once it's colonized you take slices off of the you take the barrel off somehow without your and then somehow also be able to take off the hoses that are connected to the liquid culture injection ports and then or maybe each hose line is like a flat stretch of like roots that uh, will inoculate a whole flat section or a layer and then once it's fully colonized the hose lines will be the indicators for each layer of substrate that is to be removed and placed into the fruiting chamber or fruiting fruiting environment which could be outside if the conditions were right in a cave uh, so that's my current most advanced mushroom growing uh, hypothesis <laughs> and my current practices now uh, thank you for watching this whole entire thing.